In this tutorial, we're going to look at Vocal Limiter from WA Production. Vocal Limiter, as the name suggests, is a limiter that focuses on the vocal frequencies. It's designed to be the last stage in your vocal processing chain and is quick and easy to use. Let's take a look at the features. We've created a fresh door track and loaded up an instance of Vocal Limiter. The plugin is pretty straightforward and is arranged with an input level slider on the left and output level slider on the right. This layout is replicated in the central metering area with red indicators for input on the left and output on the right. Meanwhile in the middle is an orange gain reduction meter. Also in the middle is the main threshold control which is the white horizontal line. Rounding things off are four release presets which are in a drop down menu below the meters. There are also plugin presets which you'll find in the menu at the top. Finally, in typical WA production style, you'll find the plugin name doubles as a bypass button. Here we've loaded up a vocal and an instance of vocal limiter as an insert. The plugin loads in a default state with input and output at zero and the threshold at maximum. Click on the menu bar at the top and the drop down reveals 12 presets. Each is named to indicate its settings. You'll see you get four presets in each of the hard, medium and soft categories. This simply indicates the threshold setting and these are minus 36 dB, minus 18 dB and minus 9 dB respectively. The other part of the preset naming indicates which of the four release settings the preset uses, fast, medium, slow and ultra slow. Let's work our way through some of the presets. Starting with the hard settings, the first option, hard fast, should be the most aggressive preset and on our vocal it's delivering 36 dB of gain reduction and a pumping release stage, making the effect very audible. We get pretty similar outcomes from the hard medium and hard slow presets, albeit with slightly less pumping in the release stage. However, the hard ultra slow preset has a gentle enough decay that even with quite substantial gain reduction, the overall effect is less audible. The medium fast preset delivers a balanced outcome and although the effect is audible, it doesn't sound over processed. For a more transparent result, the slow and ultra slow release options are better, but our preferred choice would be the medium slow preset which gives us about 10 dB of gain reduction. The soft presets have a high threshold, so unless your input level is high, processing should be quite modest. In our case, the gain reduction meter shows only momentarily, but some processing is still audible, and when we bypass the vocal limiter, it's obvious some processing is happening even if the meter doesn't show this. Finally, if you find settings that work for you or simply want to replicate a setting elsewhere, you can save your vocal limiter settings as a preset. To access this option, select the arrow icon to the right of the preset list. Select the user folder, give your preset a name, and hit save. You'll now find your user preset has been added to the bottom of the main preset menu, ready to be loaded whenever you need it.